this episode of Uncle Brent's Shed, we're actually getting somewhere. Rightio, so on the last episode, we got the bottom end all buttoned up, sump on and whatnot. Now, this is the uh, money shot right here. This is what I've been waiting for. Well, I haven't been waiting for it. I'd I told the owner not to bring it here until I'm ready, so just um, cast our eyes over it, eh? So, as you've probably recognised, this is a Chris Miravito CNC ported head. It's all prepped and ready to go. I just got to give it a quick, quick going over. Make sure there's no foreign material in there from um, shipping and whatnot, and we can bolt it on. Chris actually sends them out with only one valve spring. So for the running in period of the camshaft, less weight obviously on the lifter. There's the, the uh, inner springs there. Okay, now I've got to fit these dowels to the block and so I'll just check the depth to make sure they're not too shallow. And comes up at 12 mil on both. So I shouldn't have a problem with the dowel bottoming out. And Almost nine mil deep. So we should have plenty of room. Does that come out at fourteen and a half? And we have 20 to play with. Let's drop that dowel in there. Okay, a bit straighter than that, eh? Okay, let's tap it in like an old roof and nail. Now I can get all this cleaned up and wiped off. Make sure there's no dirt on there. And same as the head. Then we can whack the gasket on, torque it down. So I've just trial fitted that head on without a gasket. Make sure it's seating right down. Everything looks great, so. Pull that off, wait the gasket on and the head and then tension it down. So 
I'm just gonna tighten this head up in two stages. 40 foot pound and then 65. One lap over them. Make sure I didn't miss any. So we've got that head all talked on, double checked. Um, as you can see, the block's been primed. That's only like a thin one coat of uh, VHT flame proof primer. Um, I had to, because it was pretty cool at the time, I um, heated, sort of just gently warmed the um, block to get the moisture out of it before I primed it. And and then we can put some blue on it. I need to paint behind the harmonic balancer before I put that on. So I'll probably do that shortly. Paint the back of the balancer and we'll fit that. up the seal surface and I did have grease on the seal as well. the lifters and whack them in, clean the push rods, whack them in, and then we'll set up the roller rockers. How's that going for you? Good mate. <laughs> oh, get the lifters out and we'll lube them up. As you can see, 
lifters are all lubed and put in, push rods are cleaned, push rod guides and the roller rocker studs are lock tied it in. Rightio, so currently putting roller rockers on. They're a bit fidgety because they're so close together. You've got to um, wangle them on, you know, and make sure the lifters are down and whatnot. It's a little bit fiddly, but We'll get that. This is probably going to wrap this video up. It's blown out again like every other video. So we started bolting the accessories on. The manifold and extractors are just sitting on there with one nut basically. Just to give you an idea what it's going to look like. So now I have to remove an engine off a stand I have and fit this one up. I'm not going to put it in the car, I'm going to run it up on a stand. Run the cam in that way and you know if we've got any oil leaks or whatever well it's going to be easier to fix on the stand rather than in a car so or in that car. All right cheers for watching again and look out for your mates.